my dear boys and girls this is uh, md rajaul islam today we wants to discuss lesson 9.2.1 to 9.3 the role of uh, muscle and bone in human locomotion tendon ligament and uh, two diseases osteoporosis and rheumatoid arthritis from chapter 9 firmness and locomotion so my dear students let's start first of all the role of bone and muscle in human locomotion the muscle and bone perform important role in locomotion the skeleton constitutes the structure of the body and the muscular system makes the covering of the structure actually the voluntary muscle remain attached with the bones by a strong elastic part named as tendon muscle contraction is the result of nerve impulses with the withdrawal of impulses of muscle again stresses extends or relaxes this contraction and relaxation of muscles attached with the bones help in movement in this way muscles help in stressing or extension of limb and fold the organ contraction of the muscles draws a bone or limb away from the body or towards the body help in lowering a part lifting a part or rotating a part etc the role of muscle in movement of bones during the bending or extending the elbow is written as below or described in details the arm can bend at the elbow the biceps muscles look at here this is the biceps muscles upper muscles of our arm the biceps muscles is attached to the scapula at the top and radius at the bottom by the <coughs> stimulation of voluntary nerves when it contracts it pulls the radius and ulna towards the body so arm bent the position of the uh, radius and ulna here it is just just like here two bones are here at that time triceps muscles that is the these muscles which is composed of three clusters of muscles at this time triceps muscles relaxes to push the arm back down again quite opposite phenomenon occurs that means by the stimulation of voluntary nerve the triceps muscle contracts and strengthens or extends the radius and ulna at the same time biceps relaxes opposite uh, performance in this way we can bend and extend our arm by the simultaneous contraction of biceps and triceps muscle in this way various muscles helps in the movement of different organs so the next topic it is about tendon and ligament muscles are joined to bones by tendon the muscles especially or mainly the voluntary muscles it joint at to the bones by tendon tendon are composed of dense white fibrous connective tissues the tissue are composed of unbranched wavy and shiny white fibers white fibers are scattered in the matrix the fibers are unbranched and white in color these are composed of parallel bundles because white fibers it is unbranched and they appear parallelly numerous fibers from bundle these bundles together make a bunch of bundle the outer surface of this bundle is surrounded by areolar tissue and make a big bunch it is called peritendium or in another way we can say peritendium it is the covering of tendon then look the space between the bundles remain fibroblast cell this is also a type of proper connective tissues the cell is present in the proper connective tissue blood vessels lymphatic ducts and nerve enters into the tendon through areolar tissue it is flexible but inelastic in this way tendon is formed the fibers of tendon are attached with the sarcolemma sarcolemma it is the covering membrane of muscles muscle cell of the muscle fiber at the junction between muscle and tendon their areolar tissue that surround the bunch of bundles of tendon forms a continuous connection 
with the muscle bundles to build the connection more strong. Tendon is strong and has less possibility to tear or break than that of muscle or bone. Tendon becomes a rope-like structure which remains attached with bone and constitutes a structure of the body that render firmness, helps in formation of ligament and makes a mechanical defense against pressure. Bones are attached to each other by a thin cloth-like soft but strong elastic band-like structure, it is called ligament. Look at it, this is the position of tendon and ligament. This bone, these two bones are jointed or connected with each other through this, this uh, band-like structure, this is the ligament. And this muscle, cluster of muscle, it attached with the bone through this white color structure, it is called tendon. So what is ligament? The connective tissue that connects two bones what is tendon, the connective tissue that connects the muscle with the bone. Okay, it is a composed of combination of white and uh, uh, yellow fibers, but number of elastic yellow fibers is expense, uh, excessive. Fine Brown's network of elastic fibers remain scattered in this kind of tissue. The fibers stay separately instead of staying in bundles. These have is elasticity and are composed of elastic protein. There are fibroblast cell in the fibers, that is the fibers of ligament, as a hinge attaches the door with its frame. In the same way, tendon and ligament are firmly attached to the bone, so the organ can bend, stress, and move, and the bones are not dislocated or separated. This is the functions of tendon and ligament. And then uh, the next topic, the uh, disease, one type of disease, osteoporosis. Uh, so the question is, what is a is osteoporosis? osteoporosis? Osteoporosis is a calcium deficiency disease. Generally, elderly males and females suffer from this disease. There is a very possibility of having this disease males who are taking medicine with steroid, those who lead a lazy life, do less physical labor and are suffering from arthritis have the chance of being attacked by this disease. Causes This disease develops due to the deficiency of mineral salt, particularly of calcium. After reaching the menopause stage, uh, the density and thickness of the bones decline in female, so bone become brittle. What are the symptoms of osteoporosis disease? The symptoms of osteoporosis are bones become brittle, thickness decreases, muscle strength reduces, feel back pain and pain in the bones. This is the structure of a normal bone, normal healthy fresh bone and this is the structure of a osteoporotic bone. There are numerous empty spaces are there in the bone and it results that means it indicates this is the osteoporotic bone. Diagnosis of osteoporosis, the disease can be diagnosed by examining the density of bone with the help of density measuring equipment. At the pre preliminary stage, the disease uh, of the disease that symptoms are not noticed, suddenly hip bone or any other bones fracture even or minor shock. What are the remedy? Elderly people above 50 years should take 1200 milligram calcium, take skimmed milk and other dairy products, taking orange juice, green vegetables, soy product and calcium enriched food, prevention, come in contact with adequate sunlight, taking food of vitamin D and calcium enriched food, regular exercise, take balanced diet and cellulose enriched food. Then the next disease, it is rheumatoid arthritis. One of the hundreds types of arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis is one of them. A young person's pain in the joint may be a symptom of rheumatic disease. Prolonged suffering with rheumatic fever and uh, are not treated properly may have the possibility of being attacked with this disease. Mostly the elders uh, suffers from this disease. In case of younger, joint pain may be symptoms of any other disease. What are the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, inflammation and pain in the bone joints, stiffen bone joint, get pain in the articular movement, joint swelling. 
this is a osteoporosis uh, sorry this is a rheumatoid arthritis arthritic uh, bone joint this figure indicates a rheumatoid arthritic bone joint remedy the disease uh, is not fully cured in elders but the following measures may relieve the disease to some extent for example to avoid hard labor apply lukewarm heat in the affected joint take a short nap at daytime it gives a good result take deep heat in the affected joint do light exercise to keep the joint movable avoid pulse that is dull type of foods according to the doctor's advice taking pain relieving medicine and proper treatment can relieve from this disease live in a healthy environment and prevention of rheumatoid arthritis try to live in a clean open air and well ventilated house regular exercise according to doctor's advice taking balanced and fibrous food and after completing all the topics a homework for you write down your homework and the homework is write down the difference between tendon and ligament so the uh, so my dear students this is all about today uh, try to complete this uh, homework at your home be fine everybody